Moxie's communicator allows you to get focused and not have to pop around in lots of different apps with lots of opportunities to get distracted. Uh, you'll set up your communicator settings by starting here in workspace settings and then communicator. Communicator encompasses several things. So one is syncing your emails. And so it's going to pull just emails from known contacts here into your inbox. So you'll sync the email that you want to to pull those emails from, so your business email, and uh, add that here with your provider. We've got lots of great help docs on how to do that. Uh, if you have any trouble, you can always ask questions here using the question mark in the upper right corner. Uh, when it comes to, uh, sorry, let's go back to that. So here's your mailbox. Once it starts syncing, it's only going to pull in information from your known contacts. So anyone that you add here from your contacts and also those that you have added here in these, uh, in your client contacts as well. So when you've got a contact and their email here, it's going to pull in those emails only. And so you don't end up getting distracted by all of the other things that tend to come in through your email. Here in your inbox, you'll be able to see all of the things or only a few of the things. So if you just want to see unread and read, uh, you can choose by client. Uh, you can choose by channel, whether uh, it's just the requests or emails or messages and calls. Uh, you can sort out um, which ones you have snoozed similar to uh, what you have in any other email client. And you can also choose to only see certain dates. Uh, and then your email uh, works at exactly the way that you think it might work. Uh, you're just going to uh, click in to any email and you can uh, email as you usually do. If you would like a focused inbox, let's say you want a time box and only work on this client's work one thing at a time. So uh, you'll click on the client and then in your inbox. So now this is only going to pull in these clients emails. So only the emails that are here in contacts, you'll be able to see those here in a super focused client only inbox. Heading back into communicator, the other piece is your phone number. So here is where you can get a business phone number and stop having to use your cell phone. Uh, one of so many reasons that this is that you can set up your availability and you can limit what times that incoming calls are accepted and forwarded to your phone number. So uh, you can enter your phone number here and have those calls forwarded to you, but only at these times. Because you are a business, you deserve to be able to have a close time as well. And uh, you can uh, choose how you accept your calls. Uh, you can record a voicemail greeting as well if you would like. That's going to call you on your phone so you can record that voicemail greeting and uh, take that. Right now, this phone is only available in uh, in North America, in Canada, and in the United States. Uh, we will uh, keep you updated as uh, that is available to be added in other places. You'll manage that here with this phone icon. You can see you can also dial out here in your phone, and you can also send text messages. So that will allow you to um, send texts from this number when uh, you uh, a text message, let's say, in your workflow automations. Uh, here in your workflow automations, if you... Uh you can opt to pull in this send text widget if you prefer to operate that way. Uh, you can choose to pull that from your phone number and you can text it if you collect your contacts uh, phone number or from a fo form phone number if you'd prefer to operate that way. You can also use your business phone line here uh, and it will automatically send those texts based on your workflow automations. If you have more questions about your workflow automation or sales pipeline or anything else, Again, the Help Center is where to find that. And again, you can send your text messages here as well. The other thing that lives here in Communicator are your requests and tickets. This is going to integrate alongside Moxie's form.
forms, which you can create here. So you'll create a form that has uh, specific questions you would like your clients to answer uh, for a request and ticket. Then you'll create a request type so you can uh, name the type here, choose which form you want them to fill out, and you can give status options the same way you have your project management uh, status options. So you can kind of move these through a workflow. Now, your clients in their client portal can uh, do uh, you fill out that form and complete these requests, making sure that you get all the information that you need. You can also uh, read through this where, uh, let's say your clients, they pretty much never want to uh, use this form. They just keep texting you or emailing you or whatever. Uh, you can do that uh, by using these emails and also your known contacts. I'll let you read that when you get into your communicator settings uh, and won't read the entire thing to you. But uh, we also have it set up so that when your clients inevitably just continue to email you, uh, we have a way for you to forward that so that it gets logged as a request and ticket. And that is Moxie's communicator, helping you communicate with your clients and with everyone a little bit easier.